Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. In this video, we will describe and explain a very fast overview about TFS EXE command line tool and different options uh, with different parameters for this important command line tool. Let's go to the demo. We will open the Visual Studio command prompt. I prefer to open it as administrator always. Right click and choose run as administrator. We will get out of the directory by typing cd backslash. Then we will type the tf to display the option and use the first one which is msdn. This will open the msdn help for this command. As we can see here, this is the documentation. Let's go. Okay, I can use a help to display uh, help about any option like check in. As we can see here, we can see different parameters for the check in option. Let's open the Visual Studio and make some bending a change. We'll navigate to the source control open copy and fiber the branch okay let's go to uh, the web yes and controllers we have five controllers so let's modify the customer's controller we will add new comments line here and modify string here index add three more characters save the file okay let's write tf check in now we have an error this because I must be inside the workspace itself so we have to navigate to the mapping folder for that workspace so we can call most of the command and even if I call the workspace the same error so let's display the workspaces here is the workspaces let's navigate to that workspace can you see prime and different users Okay, let's type TF. Let's see. There. Check in. This will run the check in dialog box. As we can see here, the comment is empty. Let's cancel. We will go to the project settings to add some notes. Let's add the first note will be reviewer. The second one will be time. Okay. Get back to the command line. And let's check in again. TF check in. Write comment. Colon. Double quotation and hello. This is my comment. And then notes and start putting my notes. Reviewer equal emerald one semicolon. The second note, which is time five. And close the double quotation and press enter. We can see here this is the check in dialog box open and the comment, and here is the notes entered in the notes fields. Okay, let's see the history of the controller. 
we can see here that we only have one change set which is change set uh, 7 for the controllers ok I will check in now I will add new parameter which is no prompt so as we can see here now uh, the code is checked in with modify to the edit and give me the change set number 26 let's review it yes that's exactly now we have two chain sets 26 and 7 for this uh, file ok now we can display the different by specifying the file and the version that we want to make the different as we can see here this is will open all the file inside that folder which is which are the five controllers because I give it the controller folder let's navigate to the C because I can make the different to output this different in a file C dot one dot txt as we can see here this is the one but it's empty because I'm using wrong revision or change it it's not 21 it's 26 so let's type it again and change that enter let's open the file now we have the change in that file let's download notepad 2 which has diff2 ok let's run and open my file which has the different I output the different into this file. Let's change the schema to diff files. Maximize. As we can see here, this is the different for customer's controller. Because I only have one file, but if I have multiple files, it will be listed all in this file. This is the change set first, the second change set, 7 and 26. Here, this is a new line was added and here is a change with three characters change it for the, that string let's see different option like view to view a file we have to give it uh, the path of the specified file let's give it to the path the path of uh, the customer's controller it will open uh, the final change set we can see here the comment line we can also give it uh, the specified version colon and see that's uh, 7 so we can see here this is without the comment line and of course if we're using the revision 26 this will bring the let's go ok we can also using tf status which uh, displays the status of the change let's make a change set here in this file customer controller the control is to save run the status again now we have the pending change information about our workspace we can using also work fold which display information about the current working folder and its workspace At the end, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. 
I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content. Thank you.